Hey, welcome! In less than 18 minutes, you'll learn how to create AI agents with NA10 that automate your work. No coding required. AI agents are exploding right now, and if you've been on the sidelines, it's easy to feel like you are getting left behind. I think we're going to live in a world where there are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents, eventually probably more AI agents than there are people in the world. But by the end of this short video, you'll feel confident building your own AI agent workflows and see just how simple it really is without writing a single line of code. You'll see how to connect different apps, set up credentials, and watch your automations run step by step. All right, let's dive in. NA10 is an open source, no code automation tool. That means you can connect your favorite apps and make them work together automatically without writing code. You can send emails, update spreadsheets, fetch data from APIs, post to social media, pretty much anything you can imagine. And because it's open source, you can view the code, customize it, and even host it yourself for free. In NA10, everything is a node. A node is like a building block. Some nodes are triggers. They decide when the workflow starts. Some are actions. They actually do something like uh, send an email or uh, get data from a calendar. And then there are helper nodes. They let you add logic, loops, or even custom code. When you connect nodes together, you have a workflow. Data flows from one node to the next, so the output of one step becomes the input for the next. You can run NA10 in two ways. The fastest is the official NA10 cloud. It's ready in minutes and you don't need to worry about maintenance. The other option is self-hosting, which gives you full control but requires DevOps skills to set up and keep running. You can also use hosting services like Render or Hostinger, which make things easier with pre-made deployment templates. In this tutorial, we'll use the NA10 cloud so we can focus on building. Just go to na10.io, sign up for a free 40-day trial and log into your workspace. Now, let's talk about AI agents. An AI agent is like a smart assistant powered by AI. It can think, remember, and use tools to act on your behalf. Here's the key difference from automations. Automations follow a fixed to-do list, step by step, no thinking involved. AI agents think, adapt, and decide what to do next. And that's where the magic happens. Every AI agent has three main parts. The brain, which is the LLM, like a GPT-5 or Google Gemini. Memory, so it can remember past interactions and tools, which are external services or APIs it can use. A simple way to picture it is trigger, AI agent, tools, and output. Most tools require credentials to connect, and these are usually API keys. Think of them like passwords. NA10 stores them securely, and they are not included if you share or export your workflow. But security isn't just about credentials. Without limits, your agent could go off script. Guardrails keep it safe, smart, and under control. You can add guardrails in NA10 with a simple if notes, approval steps, or limits on what the agent can do. So it can only take safe expected actions. Here's what we are going to set up. OpenAI for the LLM, the OpenAI API requires a credit card to sign up. Or Google Gemini if you want something free within certain limits. Google Calendar and uh, Gmail for scheduling and communication. Open Weather Map 
for weather forecasts, SARP API for live Google web searches, plus we can add tools to send phone notifications with Telegram, Discord, Slack or WhatsApp in just a few clicks. Let's set up the credentials. For OpenAI, go to platform.openai.com slash settings, open API keys and create a new secret key. Copy it immediately, you won't be able to see it again. If you want to use Gemini instead, go to astudio.google.com slash app slash API key and generate a free API key. In NA10, click the plus button, choose credential, search for OpenAI, paste your API key and save it. It will also test the key and if it authenticates successfully, you'll generally see a green success message. For Open Weather Map, sign up at openweathermap.org, choose the base plan, then create and copy your API key and add it to NA10. For SERP API, register at serpapi.com and uh, your API key will be in the dashboard. Add the credential to NA10. For Google Calendar and Gmail, you don't need an API key. Just sign in with your Google account in NA10. I'm adding the credentials for Google Calendar and the Gmail. Now we can build the workflow. First, create a new workflow. Add a trigger node. This decides when the workflow starts. We'll use a chat trigger for now, but you can also set it to run on a schedule. Then add the AI agent node. This is the component that orchestrates everything. Connect it to the brain, like a GPT-5 or Gemini. I'm choosing GPT-5. Then add memory. Simple memory works fine to start, but you can also use Redis, MongoDB or PostgreSQL for more advanced setups. Now add the tools. If the service you want isn't in the built-in tools, you can still connect it with an HTTP request node. APIs are how apps talk to each other and HTTP requests are the messages they send back and forth. This lets us integrate almost any online service, even if it's not officially supported, just by sending the right HTTP request to that service. For Google Calendar, select the credential we created Set the operation to get many and choose your calendar. For Gmail, pick the recipient address and uh, let the model write the subject and the body. For Open Weather Map, just let the model choose the city. And for SERP API, connect it so the agent can run live searches. Let's test it. In the chat, try something like uh, create a summary of my agenda for tomorrow 
and uh, send it to my email. The agent will check Google Calendar, format the summary, and uh, send it instantly. The agent is still running. It is done, and I've got my agenda for tomorrow via email. You can also ask when and where should I meet Paul. Let's check the calendar. So, I should meet Paul at Starbucks on August 19. Very well. Or, what's the weather in the city where I have tomorrow's interview? You can inspect past runs by clicking Executions. Each run is called an execution. You'll see what nodes ran, in what order, and what data went in and came out. Back in the editor, you can test one node at a time by clicking Execute Step, which is really helpful for debugging. Let's make the workflow smarter. Add an if node right after the trigger. If the message is help, skip the AI entirely and uh, send a predefined message explaining what the assistant can do. Otherwise, send a request to the AI agent. I'll quickly show you how to add a conditional note. Since we are talking about no-code tools, I'll have ChatGPT help with that. If you select copy and paste your entire workflow into a text editor or ChatGPT, it becomes JSON. Everything you see in NATS canvas is just JSON behind the scenes. You can download a workflow as JSON, import JSON files into NA10, or just paste JSON directly into the canvas to recreate the visual flow. I'm pasting this prompt in ChatGPT, and I'm also pasting the workflow as JSON. And the ChatGPT is responding with the updated JSON, which is the new workflow. I'm copy pasting the ChatGPT response into a new workflow and uh, the exit. I am pasting the JSON. You can see how a new conditional node was added to display a static message if the user types help. It displayed a static message. Otherwise, it proceeds to call the A agent. Now that we've tested our AI agent workflow, let's take a look at another example so you can really see how NA10 handles data inside nodes. This workflow runs every morning at 9 a.m., fetches the hottest Reddit posts from the startups subreddit with the keyword MVP, sends them to an AI to summarize, merges those summaries, and uh, finally delivers them by email and Discord. I'm executing the workflow. Let's open the summarize posts with AI. In NA10, the layout inside any node is always the same. On the left, you see the input, in this case, the raw Reddit posts data coming from the fetch Reddit posts node. In the middle, you have the node you are currently working on. Here, it's where we send the post title and content to the AI model. And on the right, once you click execute step, you'll see the output from this node, which in our case is the AI's topic classification and one sentence summary. Think of it like input, node, output. And here's one of NA10's most powerful features, expressions. These 
are just small bits of JavaScript code that tell NA10 where to pull your data from. If you look closely at the text field in this node, you'll see we are using JSON of title and JSON of self text in double curly braces. This tells NA10 take the title and the self text fields from the previous node's output and insert them here. You can do this with any field from any previous node. Just drag and drop it into your current node and NA10 will automatically pull in that field's value. We also use an expression in the email subject line. Here, this pulls the subreddit name from the very first Reddit posts and drops it straight into the subject. No hard coding needed. Once you start using expressions like this, your workflows stop being fixed and start becoming fully dynamic. That's when you can build automations that adapt to whatever data they receive. And here's one more tip. You don't have to start from scratch. NA10 has thousands of ready-made templates for things like uh, sales, marketing, IT ops, AI, and more. Once you find one, check who it's for, what it does, and the step-by-step -step instructions. If it's what you need, just click use it for free and import it into your workspace. And that's it. You've just built an AI agent in NA10 without writing a single line of code. What used to be possible only for experienced developers is now available to anyone. Once you know these basics, the possibilities are endless. From personal assistance to fully automated business workflows. If this video helped you, give it a like. Subscribe for more NA10 and AI tutorials and uh, let me know in the comments what you'll build first. I'll see you in the next one.